Remember the rules. The first man to gain pinfall or submission will become the WWE Champion. Well, and let's make it clear, Michael, that the pinfall or submission must take place inside the ring. Which is surrounded by this cavernous hell in a cell. It's 20 feet high. It weighs five tons. It's 3,200 square feet of steel. That's bigger than an average American home. Uh, hey! Wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. Hey, hey, easy with that. You hear how his leg connected? King of the latest WWE.com power rankings that were released yesterday. Alberto Del Rio is ranked sixth. CM Punk fourth and right to the gut. Drops the chair. DDT, a skull rattling DDT on the chair. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Back into the ring now. Oh, CM Punk, he seems helpless. This is dangerous. Oh, big elbow, let's do it. All three of these men will be going through hell here tonight. But according to Alberto Del Rio, he's the only one that'll be coming back. King, okay. if I'm gonna be honest, Alberto Del Rio doesn't deserve to be locked in the cell. What? He's not an animal. Yes, he is. He's not a criminal. Yes, he is. This man is a philanthropist. A He's an aristocrat from Mexico. He's put thousands of people to work. Oh, well, that's your opinion, Cole. If Alberto Del Rio wants to achieve his so-called destiny, he's going to have to survive this barbaric structure. Of course, we're in New Orleans tonight for this amazing Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. The last time WWE held a pay-per-view from this historic city was June 2009 for Extreme Rules. Oh, I remember that, and that was a lucky night for CM Punk. It was at Extreme Rules that he cast in his money in the bank briefcase to defeat Jeff Hardy for the World Heavyweight Championship. And John Cena beat Big Show that night in the submission match. There's so much amazing sports entertainment history in this great city. You know, if I were a betting man, Cole, I'd be willing to bet that one day New Orleans will host the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. Twisting and turning in a sickening way. Are you kidding me? CM Punk and John Cena know each other so well. Oh my, what a move! Cena locked outside the cage now. This becomes a one-on-one -on -one match with Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no countouts in this match. Is there anything nastier than that move? Reversal. Remember, CM Punk lost his WWE Championship when Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Then John Cena beat Alberto Del Rio for the title last month for the Night of Champions pay-per-view. And amazingly, Del Rio claims Cena doesn't deserve to be champion, despite making Del Rio tap out. What's he think he's going to do with that? Ouch, he's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. And that should do it. The cover. Two. Three. And Alberto Del Rio has won the WWE Championship. 
championship with John Cena helplessly looking on from outside the cell. This is unbelievable. What a travesty, Cole. I can't believe I saw what I just saw. Travesty? I'd say it was brilliant. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, you would say that. 